99.1 Joy FM, Nick and Sandy here. It is time to unveil today's secret substitute teacher. From Casting Crowns, it is Professor Mark Hall. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, class. <laughs> Big hey, time. gang. So I'm, gonna use, I'm gonna be the teacher that uses all the cool talk. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the kids never <laughs> sniffs through that. <laughs> no. <laughs> They're like, man, he's just like us. I thought he was a new kid. <laughs> so, Professor Hall, um, what grade or what subject are you are you teaching today? I, I want to know. Today we're going to talk about the School of Rock. Oh, all right. <laughs> yes, the Lord, the Rock. No, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to change. I'm just trying to change this as we go here. <laughs> <laughs> I can I can tell you what class I will not be teaching. I will not be teaching you math because I am a pastor and the Lord God is not the author of confusion. So I would never do that to you. Uh, we can do history. We can do science as long as there's what, what was the, the movie a Nemo the, the the teacher that had them all going with him. Oh, do, 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 and he had taught all the stuff about the, the ocean. That was kind Maybe of a, a combination of Finding Nemo and SpongeBob right there. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what would you you do? You liked history? Is that what I'm taking from this? You liked history? You know, I I, I didn't really like anything that made me read, uh, but <laughs> but because uh, I'm I was the dyslexic ADD kid, so so it was tough. But I was in a history class where the teacher realized that I wasn't listening and I probably wasn't going to. So uh, she needed to set up a win for this room. So she put me to work on the decoration and drawing on the doors and doing artwork. And she had me and she told me, I really need you to win, to win these contests for us. But what it ended up doing is it got me quiet. And while I'm doodling, I learn, hey, I'm learning history. I'm actually listening to what she's saying. And uh, probably the best I learned in middle school was Mrs. Roberts history class because she kept me busy. Wow. That's a great teacher right there. Mark, yep. I, I bet a lot of um, students who are checking in today um, can relate to, hey, I don't feel really good at this subject, or I have to navigate through anxiety or yeah. some sort of, you know, struggle or whatever. Man, how, how cool that you, what would you teach? What would you say to them speaking to their hearts? Because let's just admit it, we all have some area that we just yeah. don't feel really good at. Maybe it's just life, you know? Yeah. Well, you know, when it comes to, to having a learning difference, it, it's, it's the biggest challenge of your life when you're in school, because when you get out of school, you are going to, uh, God's going to place you where he wants you and you're going to use the gifts he's given you, the talents he's given you, and you're going to bloom. But when you're in a school setting, you got to keep up with a herd and that's the hard part. So, so if you don't learn the way the herd learns, or, or process the way the, 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 the big group processes, you kind of, you can get left behind. And that can be the challenge. So, so for me, um, I, I talk to teenagers about getting the extra help that you can in school if you're in a school, because there's a lot of good help out now for people that learn different that, that wasn't there when I was, when I was a kid. But, um, <laughs> uh, but, but there's a lot of help now. But the other side is just knowing um, you're in a system right now that you don't fit in because you don't go with the herd. So just understand God's still preparing me and I'm going to settle into a place soon where I fit just right. And the way I think works I, I, my, as a songwriter, I'm, I'm, I'm working on six songs at one time, not one little organized thing, you know, and as, as a youth pastor, I'm all over the place. I think you got to be ADD to be a youth pastor. So worked out good. Well, I'm glad you had a great teacher in your life or, or many of them but this is your opportunity to be the great teacher life has come full circle this morning so you have a that's right class. i get one of those how you like me now moments oh okay see <laughs> see no i'm not on the varsity team but i'm giving you all the homework see see <laughs> uh, the 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 scripture that's been sticking out to me during quarantine um is uh, is in james where uh James was the very first book I read because I wasn't a reader and I picked James because it was two and a half pages long. That's why I picked a short it. Book, yeah. <laughs> exactly. And I just, there were nuggets that I could chew on and there was, Hey, this is what hard times are going to bring. Joy can come out of that. Hey, you can ask me for wisdom and I'll give it to you, but you got to trust me. Hey, your tongue is going to get you in a lot of trouble. Here's what you need. And it was just really good things to chew on for me. 
And one of the big ones was that we should all be quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to become angry. And uh, the craziness about this last few months is when the quarantine first hit, everybody was stuck at home. We talked about three, three things. When you're with your family, let's be quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to become angry. And, um, and then uh, all the, 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 the protests and all the, the strife that, that's risen up, um, everything went nuts uh, on, online, especially. Uh, when, and we talked to our people about, okay, listen, everyone should be quick to listen, <laughs> slow to speak, and slow to become angry. And, and, and we just, we've been talking about those three little thoughts a lot for the last little while because you can't physically hear quicker than someone. So he's not saying hear it sooner. Don't hear sooner. It's like listen deeper. So when you're quick to listen, you got to listen past people's words because hurting people are going to say hurting things. That's going to be in your house. That's going to be at your job. That's going to be definitely in social media uh, where there's no accountability or, or relationship, just words being thrown like stones. You, you, you've got to listen past the words to, all right, God, what's going on in them right now? Um, I know there's more to it than what I'm hearing. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And and what I've, I've had to do is, is instead of, asking God to forgive me for what I just said to my friend and uh, help me fix it. Now my prayer is, Lord, I want you to have my first response. The first one. I don't want to have to rewind and edit something I just barked out because I didn't listen. Slow me down. Get, let me be slow to speak. Let me make sure the words I'm given uh, are all for the purpose of bringing us back together and not making my point winning an argument. And, uh, and it's just really letting the Holy Spirit guide us through a time when it seems like we're just one line and zinging each other back and forth all the time. Man, that's that's a good lesson for all of us. Any age, right? Any age. Right now. It's I would have I don't think any of us could have ever predicted, you know, six months ago that every aspect of all of our lives would be completely turned upside down. I mean, mm. teachers and schools for sure, but what you guys do, I mean, our industry as a whole, every profession, every family, I mean, the whole world, it's, uh, yeah, none of us could have seen this coming. And as time seems, it seems like a long time to us, it's even longer to kids. I mean, if a kid's eight, uh, they just spent, what's the math? Yeah, percent yeah, right. Their life in a mask, you mm -hmm. know? So, so this is a really long time for them. Time for me goes quicker the older I get. Yeah. But, but six months to a kid and, and knowing that, that this, this may not go away, they're, they're asking questions like, I miss life. I miss what it used to be. And, and, and you don't, we don't want this to go so long that people don't remember what it was because I feel like we're, we're, we're kind of turning inward right now. The, the, the masks are getting us quiet and we're doing school on the screen and everything is getting back up to where we're kind of walling up and this is the time for the church to really be reaching out to people and relationally connecting to folks yeah well mark i appreciate your heart it comes through every time we talk love you and your family and last question here we've saved the best for last and that is uh -oh. if you were packing your lunchbox today your star wars lunchbox because we know that's what you'd have oh he's got a spider-man right behind uh, him. yeah but yeah but yeah. mark what would it be on me right now is my, uh, this was my lunchbox when I was, uh, uh -oh. I think fifth grade. I think this was my fifth grade lunchbox. All right. So I would have a uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I would have some sweet pickles in a Ziploc bag. No judging. Apparently I'm the only person on the earth that eats, to, eats those still. And then no I would have barbecue chips, Lay's barbecue chips. Oh, goodness gracious. What's, Man, what's for dessert? Wild. Dessert would be a Snickers, a Reese's cup, or an oatmeal cream pie. I love it. I like that there's options mm -hmm. for dessert. Everything else is <laughs> down, but dessert, you've got a little smorgasbord. <laughs> well, Professor Hall, uh, thank you for subbing in today and stepping in and uh, just speaking a really kind, good, challenging word to all of us. We appreciate you. Thank you, class. <laughs> Any don't homework? Forget do, don't forget to do your readings. It's the book of James. There will be a quiz. It's called Life. <laughs> <laughs>
Watch the food if you read it or not. <laughs>